Hello, Master Malika here. On our last video, we talked about the Tai Chi jab, the Tai Chi cross, and the Tai Chi uppercut. So today I'd like to give you a little combination that takes all three of those into account. It might be a little bit tricky, but it should be fun for you to work with. The Tai Chi jab, of course, is with the lead hand and the lead leg pushing forward and then the rear guard blocking or rolling upward. The Tai Chi uppercut is snake darts up out of the cave. And then of course to get to the Tai Chi cross, which would be a rear hand strike, I open my front toe, step forward, and strike from the rear side of my body, rolling upward. Now let's take that again, and let's start from a familiar place search for a needle. So I step back, search for a needle, half step forward, fan through the back, twist my waist but don't shift my weight, snake darts up out of the cave. Now open my toe, step up and hold the ball. As I step forward, there's the Tai Chi cross working the shuttles. Search for a needle, Fan through back, snake darts up out of the cave, and now step up, working the shuttles. Now that's kind of a tough combination. You may not be used to doing some of those movements on the opposite side of your body. For practical purposes, of course, I need to be able to block with either hand and I need to be able to strike off either foot. So these are really practical aspects of the Chong style Tai Chi Chuan. I also should be able to search for needle with either side of my body because someone might grab this hand and I have to search for needle here. They grab this hand. I may have to search for needle reverse depending on how I'm grabbed. You, in class, we always say, you know, grab me here, and you've got a great defense for it. But in reality, people grab in all kinds of ways, and sometimes it's confusing, sometimes it's sudden, sometimes they have an incredible grip, and sometimes they grab you in such a way you just wonder, what were they thinking, and why did you grab me like that? <laughs> it's not going to work out so great for them, perhaps. So in this little combination, I'm going to start with search for a needle. Then a half step forward, fan through the back. Now I twist my waist for snake darts up out of the cave. And I open my toe, hold the Tai Chi ball, and step through with working the shuttles. Search for needle opposite side. Fan through back, half step forward. Twist the waist, snake darts up out of the cave. And then open the toe, hold the Tai Chi ball, and step up, working the shuttles. And in this way, I have put together several different movements. They don't come together in the form, but they do occur sometimes in practical experience. Someone's grabbing my wrist, I attempt to shear off from them by rolling my wrist. And then maybe I can't get away. So I counter grab their grab and apply the chin ah. Well, they pull away from the chin ah, so I follow them with the strike into the rib cage. They try to strike over my strike, so I have to counter that strike and come up into the tender area here, underneath the throat or even up into the eye. When I get to work in the shuttle, the Tai Chi cross, that would be like an extension of a basic combination. So when you're practicing, you can work with a partner slowly, because we're talking about the throat and the eyes, and also putting all your weight on the opponent's wrist and on a very tiny little tendon that can't move very much. So we should practice slowly and carefully and enjoy our Tai Chi, but also make it useful.